Good morning, everyone. You can do better. Good morning, everyone. There we go. Uh, so I, I feel like I should start with some corny jokes. It feels like it's kind of tradition to do so. Uh, so I'll just kind of ask them in, in no particular order. Uh, why did the PowerPoint cross the road? To get to the other slide? Yep. Uh, we're going to keep going until you laugh, so don't worry. Uh, wh why do Java developers wear glasses? Because they can't see sharp. That sounds like a, those are fighting words? Did someone, did someone have a problem with it? <laughs> How many developers does it take to change a light bulb? None. It's a hardware problem. <laughs> what do you call eight hobbits? A hobbite. Yeah, no, that one wasn't a good one, I know. Uh, I would tell you a UDP joke. You probably wouldn't get it. Uh, yep, there you go. That's a good one. Uh, a search engine optimization expert walks into a bar, bars, tavern, pub, beers, alcohol, public house, drinks, alcohol, uh, no one gets that one? Yeah, it's OK. Uh, all right, one more. Uh, an iPhone autocorrect engineer walks into a bra. Uh, why are we here? I think it's kind of the question of the ages. I'll go back to perhaps the beginning of time. Uh, poets, artists, philosophers have asked this question for, forever uh, since human existence came into be. Uh, I think there's still a lot of questions that still remain of why are we here, uh, but uh, we've all tried to solve them in various different ways. I think, you know, for the most part, we all kind of come to the conclusion, regardless of why we're here, we're here, uh, which is probably how many of you feel being in the audience today. Uh, I think ultimately we need to figure those types of questions out and, and as a society, as uh, humanity coming together, there's still looming kind of large issues with the question. Uh, there's, you know, if you go back, and, and I always like to think about this, the nature of the pace of change of technology has outstripped humanity's ability to cope with it. Uh, we are now in a, a moment in time where technologies like AI and things that are kind of on the horizon really represent where we're at the beginning of something bigger and something better. Uh, we are in a moment of, of what I'll call a, a digital renaissance. I mean, to take a look back, you know, the first, uh, the history of the phone, right? The first phone, the first prototypes came out in 1840. Uh, Alexander Graham Bell, somewhere in 1888, actually had the first working commercial phone. Uh, that was, you know, literally 100 years before uh, we produced kind of the first first motor, uh, the first uh, actual uh, mobile phone, uh, which was produced by Motorola uh, in uh, 1983. Uh, you know, 10 years of advancement from that, we move into the first smartphone. Another 10 years, we have iPhones, uh, and then Google, Android, and now everyone has one, two, if not three phones in their pockets at all time. What is that impact when we haven't had time to measure what that actually produces around us as a, a people? Uh, as a, a community, as a society. Uh, I think we're starting to see real big questions and issues with ethics and the sharing of data. Uh, what, what is data? Who owns it? Uh, if I profit off of data, what does that mean? Uh, and, and I think the pace of change is going even faster, right? Even if I think of, you know, in the past 30 years, uh, what we've accomplished as a people with an interconnected uh, set of human experiences, a capability uh, with phones everywhere, uh, and a capability for everyone to interact with each other across the globe uh, at any given time, uh, there's no doubt that we are now in a digital renaissance. By a show of hands, how many people have a digital transformation project somewhere on their plate in their organization? the vast majority. If that's not a recognition that there is something happening uh, around a renaissance, I don't know what is. Uh, the word renaissance is French for rebirth, and it came about basically with a recognition of finding all of the previous texts and things that came out of literature, that came out of art, a cultural redefinition, uh, and we're going through that same process right now. Uh, we are now in that moment of how we need to figure out uh, our future. We need to figure out how to cope with these types of advancements as quickly as possible. And companies are the first ones to start to figure out that there's actually, there may not be a future. Uh, many of the organizations that are even going through these digital transformation projects, there's a question of on the other side, what exists? Our software development efforts have become less about how to program, have become less about uh, you know, what we're doing in terms of defining requirements and more about what do we want out of the human experience. And to me, that's the recognition that we are actually making progress as a society. We're making progress as a, a species. Uh, and so there's big questions of, you know, is AI good? Is AI bad? What will that end up as? Uh, and there are big questions that I think, you know, we, we all recognize we can't answer alone. And so why are we here? I think we're here to start answering those questions together. Uh, this is now, I think, the seventh year we've produced this event. Every year we try to go a little bit further, do something a little bit crazier. Uh, and in every single instance, we always want the same thing, for everyone to leave with business cards in their pockets and ideas in their head. 
I think if that's all we can accomplish today, then we've done everything we need to. This is the, the first social network. This is well before MySpace and well before Facebook. Uh, and there's a better chance that no one's going to steal your information today. Uh, but at the end of the day, uh, this is what matters. Coming together, look around you. You're joined by professionals from all walks of life. You're joined by wonderful experts across fields. Uh, and this is a chance for us to share those ideas. This is a recognition that the digital renaissance is coming, if not here, if not already well underway. Uh, and in order to adapt and in order to make sure that we overcome, uh, we must do it together. We cannot let this languish. We cannot let ourselves perish into the night. This is something that will allow us to basically communicate, share ideas, collaborate, uh, and build a better future together. So that's the reason we're here. Uh, now let's look at what we want to actually accomplish. Uh, today's you know, structure, I think we've got a fantastic program. There are wonderful folks, uh, and I'd like to thank all of our speakers, all of our presenters, uh, all of our partners and sponsors. Uh, it's always important for everyone to come together, but also I'd like to thank all of you for joining today. Uh, this is not easy to do, to take a day out of a, a very busy schedule that's constantly evolving and constantly getting faster and the pace of change as it grows. Uh, but what we're going to do is we're going to try and keep everything as, as lightweight as possible. We're going to try and make things move as quickly as possible. Uh, we have basically four sessions, two in the morning, two in the afternoon. Uh, with those four sessions, we've got a mix of panels, breakouts, uh, the, ab the ability for you to go actually kind of participate in roundtables with your peers, learn and talk, uh, and also you know, maybe a, a few fun things here and there. But the whole theme for the day and the whole kind of goal and objective is business transformation through strategic innovation. Let's stop talking about technology for the sake of technology. Let's talk about what we want to accomplish. We think there are five key themes, and you'll see these themes throughout the day explained in more detail, but becoming a, a, becoming a data-driven enterprise, becoming an on-demand enterprise, becoming a digital enterprise, becoming a protected enterprise, and becoming a connected enterprise. And all of those things come together very nicely in this concept of business transformation through strategic innovation. Uh, so with that, uh, why don't we get our program started? Uh, I'd like to welcome up our first guest, Phil Weiser. Uh, so Phil, uh, in case you don't know, uh, basically uh, has had a, a very large and illustrious career uh, across a, a number of different companies. Let's give him a, a, hand of, uh, a round of applause as he comes up. <laughs> 